Welcome back to New Rock Stars. I'm Eric Boss here with Tommy Vector. That's how you say I'm excited and Wookie, baby, because we got new games. I thought it was I love you. It is. It's the it, same. It's a yeah. unit. It's like aloha. Oh, it means hello and goodbye. <laughs> and I love you. Yeah. Well, this is a breakdown of some details you missed in the new trailer for Jedi Survivor, the follow-up to Jedi Fallen Order from EA Games in a relation to EA, EA Voss. Voss. It's coming March 17th, 2023. EA Voss. It's in the video. That's my that's my impression. All right. <laughs> this is a gameplay trailer showcasing Cal Kestis' fighting style with a few cameos of droids and aliens while keeping things a mystery as to who Tank Man is. But we have a theory about this fella, don't we? Because that's what we do here. Let's comb through this and break down what you might have missed. The order is gone. I was betrayed by the one I trusted most. will not be imprisoned again. Okay, we start again with our mystery tank man from the earlier teaser, a former Jedi who has been imprisoned in a back to tank. Actually, later in the trailer, he is wearing gold and white robes, making us think he might come from the High Republic era, which would mean he's been frozen in this tank for hundreds of years. Whatever his grievances are, they're with someone long dead before the return of the Sith. Now, this might tie in with the Acolyte. We just started to see early set photos of Daphne Keene and Dean Charles Chapman. Now, Jedi Survivor is coming March 17th. It's right in the middle of The Mandalorian Ooh. Season 3. Fallen Order came out the week of The Mandalorian's first season premiere in November 2019. Then, obviously, much of Lucasfilm's designs for the Inquisitors and the Fortress of Inquisitorius and Obi-Wan Kenobi were reused from that game. That's right. Jedi Survivor is going to take place five years after Jedi Fallen Order, roughly around the same time as the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Come on, get Kestis in live action, Ooh, baby. Right? But based on Tank Man's pale skin, I think he might be the cage species from the world of Forsyth. This Ooh. was from from Clone Wars Season 4, Episode 20, Bounty, which featured Asajj Ventress on an underground train job with a race that looked a lot like this, but with eye colors other than blue. But you know, it could be a lot of different colors. All right, come on, give me some more of that footage. <laughs> get to see more of Cal Kestis' gameplay here, and it looks like he has retained most of his skills and force knowledge from the end of Fallen Order, which is good, because I can't relearn that. His lightsaber postures have expanded. We'll know he'll use a single wield, a dual wield, and a double-ended dual wield, and he gets a new lightsaber with a cross guard. Yeah, actually, in this section, he locks sabers with someone with an orange or yellowish saber, and that one has side pieces that flip down on the side for that cross guard. Mm. So maybe this is the hilt that he takes, and he changes the kyber crystal within it. It's like the face razors that used to have the sideburn trimmer that you'd flip down. Right. It's like, you know, a little extra something for you. Yeah, but that's where they get you, where you got to get the extra component to recharge. Yeah, and then you need an extra brush, and all of a sudden you're asking your dad, why do we shave anyway? And your dad says, we're genetically hairy. Oh. At one point, Cal lifts a stormtrooper to shoot the others and then drops him to slash at his back, which I got to say, feels like Cal's breaking a little bad here. Feels a little yes. dark sidey to me. Yeah, but I love to see yeah. it. I mean, is it really Cal in that point or is, yeah. it, uh, is it the person who's playing? That's I mean, right. Well, we all got some dark side. The guy doing almost. the gameplay footage was like, I feel evil today. Yeah, let's look at commit some war crimes. Anyway, well, at least one new skill set Cal will learn in this game is going to be some Jedi Aww. animal taming. Relatively new for skill to Star Wars canon. You know where Jedi just kind of have this Francis Assisi vibe going on. Yeah. Well, some areas may only be accessible, it looks like, by riding a mount or hanging from a flying animal. Cal catches up with Seer Junda, who was previously on a mission to rebuild the Jedi Order, but we're gonna see here. She's surrounded by blue glowing stacks that look like Jedi Archive stacks curated by Jocasta Mu. Yeah, they do look pretty similar. Now, there is no side of the Dathomirian Marin in this trailer. I thought she might be that person wearing the veil beside Seer. I'm not really sure. But when Cal pilots and crashes a mantis, we don't see Marin or Grease with him. Mm. Ooh, let's watch more. Yes. A Jedi. Remind our friend here why his kind are supposed to be dead. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa! Here 
Kel meets two new characters, presumably bounty hunters. The big alien looks like a Gen Dai, like Dirge, which were believed to be unkillable. Yeah, behind him, the Orvesh sign translates to Dendra's Antiquities. Mm. So, like Luthen Shop and Andor, this could be another trove of Star Wars Easter eggs. Yeah, I'm gonna be that guy that everybody hates the game with and just quote, walks around and closes in and zooms. Now, by this point in the video, it should be pretty obvious how freaking excited Tommy and I are to play <laughs> Jedi Survivor. But, you know, that's gonna mean a lot of time staring at Cal Kestis with his perfect CGI hair and his skin. And if you're too busy making yourself the Empire's most wanted to get into the weeds of your skincare routine, you should try Geology. Geology is a 15-time award-winning personalized skincare company recognized in Hypebeast, Birdie, Men's Health, Esquire, Ask Men, Grooming Awards, the Tom Bechtold Digest, one of those is fake, with over 6,000 five-star reviews, and they've recently expanded to offer products for, for pretty much whatever you need. Yeah, all you gotta do is take a quick 30-second diagnostic quiz, and Geology figures out your routine for you. It's funny, I took that quiz and they identified that it was my fault in all of my relationships as well. Thank you, Geology. <laughs> I took that quiz and they also said it was Tommy's fault and all those problems were in my relationships. <laughs> now, if you need hair care, use Geology's Co-Wash, a specially formulated cream cleanser that removes buildup and cleanses the hair without the big lather or harsh ingredients of typical shampoo. And for the rest of your shower routine, you can use their body washes. They're free of harsh ingredients, they smell great, and they are refillable. And what about after the shower, Eric? Protect your skin from environmental stressors. The vitamin C plus E, Feralix Serum to keep your skin looking young and healthy. Mama baby. And then a bit of dermatology testing, aluminum free deodorant that quite honestly, most delightful. I haven't gotten any complaints, and that's because I live alone. <laughs> right now, for a limited time, Geology is hooking our audience up with an absolutely insane offer. If you use the code NEWROCKSTARS, they will give you an additional 70% off their award-winning skincare trial set. Now, that discount applies whether you're stocking up for yourself or stuffing someone else's stocking instead. Either way, Geology has you covered. Check out their awesome gift sets featuring all of your favorite Geology products. To get started, just click the link in the description, take a 30 second diagnostic quiz, and their team of dermatologists will design a personalized routine just for you that ships directly to your door. Dang. Let's watch a little bit more of this. More. After all we've done, the Empire has only grown stronger. Cal faces a variant of a wampa, but not a snow wampa like mm -hmm. we saw in Hot. This is a jungle wampa, which feels problematic. Now yeah. they say it out loud. Jungle <laughs> wampa, bam, bam, jungle wampa. These showed up in Star Wars The Old Republic and they are adapted for warmer climates. I just love how he ragdolls Cal like <laughs> yeah. Hulk with Loki. Yes, and then Puny we fight. Jedi. He gets a filthy puny Jedi. We fight a DT series sentry droid from Star Wars Rebels straight out. These were the precursors to the dark troopers we saw in The Mandalorian season two, which quite frankly gave me nightmares. The ones Luke Skywalker makes mince meat of as he saves Grogu. Come on, more trailer. Give me, more, give me, more, give me, more. give me. Thanks, Boat. Part of the job, Gustus. All right, we meet a new character. This smoke show is named Bode. Ooh. And this planet behind him could be Nar Shada. That's the smuggler's moon that the Hutts clan operate. It could be Dayu. Ooh. Remember that Hong Kong inspired yes. planet where you know, Obi-Wan rescued Leia from and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Mm. There were lots of neon Orabesh rooftop signs here. That's true. And the one here behind him ends in R, B, and O on the top line beneath that it's G. Ooh. I can't make sense of this it. This guy can't translate everything. Well, it's, it's awesomely Thick yeah. body is blocking That's those right. letters. Boom, thick boy. Bode rolls over his back and gets a boost, which is how you and I like to hop over fences at outdoor concerts. Thank you, Counting Crows. We <laughs> didn't pay a dime to see you. <laughs> gonna be a long December for your bank accounts. <laughs> let's, let's keep, keep, yeah, keep, let's keep, keep going. watching, apologies. The Jedi is a threat. Not now that we have this. As long as we fight. Okay, so Tank Man tells that Gendai bounty hunter that Cal isn't a threat now that they have this artifact. And we actually saw this same object in Cal's hand earlier when he released Tank Man for that back to Tank. So what do we think it is? Could it be something connected to the path from Obi-Wan Kenobi? Some records of the surviving Jedi that are still out there somewhere? Oh, I hope so. Let's find them and kill them. No, no Tommy. I must no. resist all of this. 
The battle droids that Cal fights have similar red plating to the armor worn by the Jedi, making me wonder if he programmed them to work wow. for him. Ooh, on to the last part, Eric. Finish, Let's bring us home, this. baby. Hope survives. Okay, we end on Cal slashing through some KX series droids. Cassie and Andor could have used some of those mm. against those on Niamos, yes. but you know, there are no lightsabers allowed That's in. Or, hey, remember when Luthen's Fondor Hallcraft beamed out those red lasers from the sides yes. and we were all like, oh my God, is Luthen a Jedi yeah. confirmed? Because we all have those lightsaber boners for yes. anything lightsaber related in Andor. No, yeah. just because someone has lasers and seems to be a good pilot yeah. doesn't make them easy. Come on, don't simp for lightsabers. Be a man and wait for it like me. Wait for Merrick. Well, we are super excited to play this game on March 17th, 2023 is going to be a big year for Star Wars. We got Bad Batch, Mandalorian Season 3, Ahsoka, Jedi Survivor, and more details about the Acolyte and the Woo! Skeleton crew. Wookie Leaks is not dead. We're just sleeping. sleeping. But we've woken up to do this trailer breakdown Here for you. Are. Come on, Eric, send us home. One last ride in 2022, and we will be back in 2020. Believe me. Well, trust us, Eric. We're home. Follow Tommy <laughs> at Tommy Vectold. Follow me at EA Voss. EA Voss. It's on the video. <laughs> Follow New Rockstars. Subscribe to New Rockstars for breakdowns of everything you love. Come on, give it to me one time. For old time's sake. We. we have spoken. Bye. Later.